we will start the first lecture on distributed algorithms by an introduction to distributed systems. I am Saif Haridi. What is a distributed system? A distributed system is a set of nodes connected by a network which appear to its users as a single coherent system. The nodes could be local computers, operating system processes, mobile devices, servers at the data center. These machines can only communicate through a network by sending messages to each other. We will mainly abstract this notion of physical machines and only talk about processes. So here we have our processes, P1 to Pn. Here we have the network and processes can send messages and can receive messages. So in this course we are going to focus about concepts, models and given a model which problems are solvable or not solvable what are the core problems in a distributed system? What are the algorithms to solve these problems? And how to reason about correctness? So we will try to understand the basic concept of distributed system. We will discuss and teach different types of distributed system models and understand what basic services we can build in each model. Sometimes we use the word problem to describe a service abstraction. We will also implement many of these services or solve a problem by designing a distributed algorithm. So why distributed systems are interesting? Because it is important and useful in many aspects of society. The internet is a distributed system. The World Wide Web is a distributed system. Cloud computing with data centers is a distributed system. Edge computing where devices communicate together is a distributed system and so on. So distributed systems are everywhere nowadays. So as I just mentioned, the internet as a network of computers called router, deliver messages to and from the edge nodes that are your and my computer and to other services. Edge computing, where a lot of small devices are connected through a wireless network to the internet backbone is also a distributed system. A data center, that provides 24 hours, seven days a week service hosted, for example, by Google or Facebook. These data center provide storage and computing resources to serve millions of users. These are also distributed systems. This is done by using a distributed system, a set of machine or processes connected by a network, as you can see here. When we study distributed system, we abstract all of these and just talk about a set of processes connected by a network. As you can see here, here are our set of processes and here is the network. So why do we study distributed system? Distributed system is important from a technical perspective where it can improve the scalability of a system, reliability, and can support inherent distributions. Scalability is the use of a network of servers to serve multiple users and requests, and thereby scale the number of requests that can be served. Reliability is replication of the same service on multiple machines, so if some fail, the others will carry on. Whereas geographic distribution or geo distribution, you can find it in peer to peer networks or in distributed sensor networks or in multi data centers where 
data are distributed across multiple data centers and because of legal reason you cannot move the data distributed system is also challenging why it is challenging because in distributed system we encounter partial failures where the network can drop messages and nodes can fail and also these systems are concurrent nodes execute in parallel and message travels the system asynchronously concurrency by itself is the domain of parallel computing but distributed system covers both partial failure and concurrency when we study distributed system we encounter a series of recurring problems some of them are easy to solve and some are hard and some are impossible to solve all depends on our assumption on what kind of system we are talking about and that will be our talk of the next unit